Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week's Inspiration Friday project is inspired by Sharon. She's one of the owners of our local um, craft shop that we have that all of us crafters get together and make some unbelievable things and then we have the opportunity to put it for sale down at Ish Pacific Northwest. And so she asked me the other day if I have ever sewn lanyards. She likes to keep her keys right with her all the time, likes to have her hands free. And so I said, yep, I could do that for you. So this week I am going to show you how to make these cute lanyards. You can use any type of material you want. And I don't know about you guys, but I lose my keys way too often. You could just ask my husband, he will tell you. But you know what, lanyards have so many purposes. Um, I see people with um, ID badges on them. I don't know about you, but at work, maybe you have an ID badge you need. Lots of teachers wear these. What a great idea for a teacher gift is to make a lanyard. You could do the colors of your school. Um, you can make lanyards all different material, all different designs, and they are super easy to make, you guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you a really quick ah, tutorial on how to make these lanyards. But hey, before we get to my craft table, if you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're stopping by, thank you so much. This channel is all about inspiration. I try to inspire people to show them that they can make things. And that's what our Inspiration Friday is all about. I try to post a video every Friday to give you ideas of things you can make. And you guys, the holiday season is right around the corner. So what a better time to get inspired to make some items. So make sure you click on the subscribe button down below. And if you click on that little bell, YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. So give me a second to get my camera angle changed and I'm going to meet you back or over at my craft table and we are going to be making these cute lanyards. <music> Okay, crafters, let's get going making these fun lanyards. And you can tell by the amount of material that Lisa's got cut out that I am going crazy um, with these lanyards. So one of the things you definitely need with the lanyard is the hardware. Now I picked up a whole package of them at um, Amazon and I'll make sure I put links below to everything. Um, but you definitely want um, the hardware and I'll just show you a close-up view of the ones that I chose. It's got like a D-ring already on it and this part swivels, okay? So it's really nice and, and handy from that standpoint. So um, I've made a few of these. I'm actually making them for um, our local shop um, in my town. Um, I had a request from one of the owners to make some lanyards. So just went out and checked out all my different fabrics and I cut out a whole bunch. So let's go ahead and get started um, on making these. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to choose this yellow fabric. It's little bumblebees and it's so cute. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put all my other fabric that I've got cut out off to the side. And let's see what we're going to start with. So what we're going to start with is, oh, and I've got two there, so I only need one. We are going to start with a piece of fabric that is about 40 inches long. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, the length of the lanyard is going to depend on what you like. So go ahead and take your tape measure. And I just grabbed my, you know, standard tape measure that I have. I put it around my neck and I kind of decided where do I want my lanyard to fall. And for me, it was right about 40 inches. Um, the other thing is we are measuring this four inches in width. Okay, so the four inches in width is pretty important. Okay, so go four inches in um, the width. But your length is really going to depend on what you guys like. So I'm going to go ahead and just double check. I cut so much of this fabric out the other night. I'm just going to double check and make sure that I've got about a 40 um, length. And mine is just a tad bit 
um, longer than um, the 40 inches because I've got it doubled, of course. Okay, so now there's a little bit of prep work that we're going to work on with our lanyard. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by bringing out my pressing pad that gets its use. Let me tell you, lots of lint all over it. So the very first step you're gonna do is, of course, you're gonna cut your fabric out, okay? So we've already done that. I've got a piece of fabric that is just a little bit longer than 40 inches, and it's four inches in, in width, okay? I'm gonna fold that fabric in half the long way, okay? So I've got it folded all the way, and I am going to give it a really good press. Now I'm using my pressing pad here um, and I absolutely love it, but I will tell you that use your iron ironing board, that's perfectly fine. I just like my pressing pad because it's nice and portable, okay? So that's gonna be our first press, okay? Just in half. Now what you're gonna do is you are gonna take that strip that you just did in half and you're going to fold in on both sides, and you can do one at a time. I found that I've been able to master doing both sides at a time, okay? And I'm gonna fold that, and then keep your iron handy, okay? And then you're going to press that. And we're gonna do that all the way along um, the strip of the material, if I can get it out of the cord of my iron, okay? So the ironing, in my opinion, and the pressing is the most important step you have in making these lanyards. So this is the step that probably takes the longest um, to do, but it makes it all worthwhile when we hop over to the sewing machine and we start working on this um, and sewing on it, okay? So really important, we're just going my, the whole length of my lanyard now you guys, if you want to make like a wrist wrist um, lanyard, you sure can. You just do shorter. Um, you can definitely follow these same type of steps. There is different hardware out there for a wrist one. But this one I'm making for a, a neck one. Okay, now I've got that folded in. Now I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay, some of you guys might recognize this as a step if you um, were ever making your own bias tape. This is definitely what you would do um, with bias tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a good press. You guys, these are so quick and easy to put together. I think that's why I got so much material cut out because I'm just gonna get in a production line and, and start making these. So you got any college kids in your family and they um, are off to college, um, these are a great thing for keys. I see lots of high school kids um, wearing these. Okay, so now I've got it. Remember, we folded it. We started out with the fabric like this. We folded it in half, pressed. Then we brought our edges in, and now I folded it. So now what I have is I have a piece of fabric that is one inch in width and still my 40 inches, okay? So now what I wanna do is I wanna take out one of my pieces of hardware, okay? And we're gonna slide that into the lanyard or the strip of fabric, not quite a lanyard yet, okay? And you can see, and you might not be able to see there, it's puckering just a little bit, okay? So what you want to do is move your hardware out of the way and you wanna bring your ends together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna taper these ends down just a little bit. That way our lanyard is going to lay really nice. So what I do, and this is just at the ends, you guys, I'm gonna open it back up and I'm gonna bring over my edge just a little bit, maybe maybe halfway. So that, that first fold we have, I'm bringing it in to the middle. And then I'm gonna do the same thing um, with the other fold, not quite as far, okay? And then I'm gonna fold it in half again, okay? And then I just kind of pull it tight, right? And so you can see we have just now tapered that end. We still have the nice press, right? Okay, and if I bring my hardware down, you can see that that hardware 
slides really nice on the lower. And this is where we're gonna bring it together and where your hardware is gonna be at the end, okay? So let's go ahead and do that for the other side. So I'm gonna open it up, okay? I'm gonna fold this one in, okay? And then I'm gonna bring this one not quite all the way, okay? I'm gonna fold it in half again. I'm going to pull it straight and I'm gonna give it a good press, okay? So far, so good. I hope you guys are following along. And again, you guys, this is why I say the most important steps are the pressing, okay? So I'm just really giving that a good press because I'm gonna open it back up so we can complete that stitching and complete our circle. But I don't wanna lose where my presses are. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a couple Wonder Clips. And now what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my lanyard is flat like this, okay? So you can see that I'm not turned, I don't have my edges turned at all, okay? I'm gonna open up my fabric all the way at the end, okay? And I'm gonna open up my fabric all the way at the end, okay? So what I wanna do is I wanna put my right sides together, okay? But when I do that, I still wanna make sure that my lanyard is gonna lay right, okay? So play with this a little bit, you guys, and make sure you've got it turned right. So if I do it, if I were to open it all the way back up, I see my, my lanyard doesn't have a turn to it at all, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I am going to clip with my Wonder Clips. You guys can use pins by all means. I just, I mean, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, I like my Wonder Clips, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop over to the sewing machine and I am gonna do a straight stitch right along here, okay? Then we're gonna fold it back up, we're gonna throw a top stitch on, and we're gonna have our lanyard. So join me over at the sewing machine. Okay, so we're over at the sewing machine, and I've got my machine set to just a straight stitch, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and take off my Wonder Clips now, and I'm gonna do just about a 5 8 inch seam, okay? So I'm going to start it, I'm going to back stitch it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a really quick seam here. Back stitch it, and as easy as that, okay? Okay, so now I wanna push my machine off to the side just a little bit, okay, so I can show you guys. Now we've got that completed, right? So what I wanna do now is I want to fold my fabric back up, and one thing I like to do is, and you could take this back over to the, um, iron if you wanted, but I like to open up that seam right there, and I'm just gonna start to pull it all back together. So the rest of it's already still folded, so all I'm doing is refolding everything that we pressed. And this is why, you guys, that, um, that pressing is just so, so important that we make sure we get that all right, okay? So remember how we had this um, folded in and then when I tapered it, I folded it a little bit further, fold a little bit further, and then we folded it in half. And this takes a little bit just to get it back together, you guys. But there you can see I've got my taper back. Now what I like to do at this point is throw a clip in there, okay? And you can see, got some strings hanging. <laughs> Let me just do those on my machine. Got to grab my scissors okay so now we've got that taper back right and now all I'm gonna do you guys is I am gonna throw a top stitch down one side and then down the other and you can do anywhere from um, you know an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch I've got a really nice quarter inch mark on my machine so I'm gonna do a quarter inch and I'm gonna start a little ways away from where my wonder clip is so I'm just gonna measure that up. This is also where you guys might wanna put a different color thread in. I've got a cream colored thread in, it matches with my yellow really nice, but I'm just going to 
buzz um, right down here. I'm gonna do some top stitching. I'm gonna do a back stitch and a straight stitch. So I'll join you in just a second. So we've got our first straight stitch all the way down. Now I'm gonna flip it and I'm going to do, and the only reason I flip it, you guys, is I really like to use my um, quarter inch seam um, guide. And I have that right here on my plate of my machine. There is one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure I get those edges, or the threads clipped, okay? Because we're going to give it one more stitch. Now this stitch that I'm going to show you is optional, but what I find um, with this stitch that I'm going to add is it just really makes the lanyard um, lay nice. So we want to get down to our tapered edge, okay? Which is right here, and I've got a couple more threads I just want to get clipped out of the way clip as you go so I always tell you guys okay now this is where my tapered end is okay so what I like to do is again make sure your lanyard is laying all straight okay so I've got a nice lay on my lanyard and I am just going to just barely do a um, off center it just so this is gonna lay really nice and then I just go up just about an inch, okay? And all I'm gonna do is put a straight stitch right across here. And I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times, you guys. Okay. And I'm gonna clip those threads. And guess what, you guys? We've just made a lanyard. How quick and easy are those? Okay, so now our lanyard is all ready to go. Our lanyard is all ready to go. So what do you guys think? Another Inspiration Friday project done. And here's some examples of some of the finished lanyards that I sewed. Thanks so much for joining me for this Inspiration Friday project on making lanyards. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and YouTube should remind you each time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, please add comments below. I love to hear from you. Also, don't forget to check out my blog at Fun Stuff Crafts for other DIY projects.